Hello, I get asked a lot about how in, I insert GIFs into my pixel art. This video will show you how to do it step by step. Here's my formatted pixel art and I would like to insert some heart GIFs over it. So I go up to here because I've got the Giphy for Chrome extension, but you could just put um, giphy.com in your URL. I click on there and then in the Giphy search bar, put in what are looking for. I then go to stickers because you have lots and lots of choice of images with transparent backgrounds. I like the look of this one, so I click on it. That's very important. So click to enlarge that GIF and right click, save image as. And mine saved to download, but you can save to wherever you would like. Art two because there's already hearts there. So saves. Also saves at the bottom here. I click out to Giphy and then to insert, I go to insert there, image, image over cells, and I could upload from the download where mine was saved to, or I could just click on the GIF at the bottom and drag over. And that's a lot easier to do. There it is, it's uploading, and there's the GIF. You click and get the blue box all the way around, and then you can move and resize to how you would like. So I just want it over the whole image. Yeah. Then click out, and your GIF will stay where it is. I also get asked, how do I do the firework surprise? At the end of some of my pixel art, for example, the Snoopy and the Statue of Liberty flag. Let me show you how to do that. Get rid of that GIF by just deleting. You notice here there's one um, column that's not answered. So if I do that now, and then all of the background goes black, that's important to do the reveal, for example, for fireworks or whatever you would like to reveal. So oh, if I now go up to and if I put in white fireworks because the original background is white and you want it as a size and it's kind of hidden. So I like this one. So click to select it and highlight it. Right click, save image as, and then fireworks. Just for future reference, save, click out a GIF here, and do exactly the same. Insert image, image over cells, and then I could upload or just drag and drag on the bottom. Because it's white on white, you do need to like search around a bit for it. There we are. But it should appear. That's too large. So if I resize, and then put it in. And then if I want to make another one, control C, B. You do have to hunt around because it's white on white. And that is kind of the whole element of surprise. If I just show you how it now works, so I delete that. It's there to make it even if you get rid of the grid lines there you can't see the fireworks so when your student puts the last answer in all appears i hope that was useful thank you